What do we do with a drunken sailor? Or more importantly, what do we do with a drunken musician? I'm Pete and welcome to this heck short. Stay tuned to find out. So in this short, I want to test my ability to play an instrument whilst under the influence of alcohol and discuss alcohol from a musical perspective. Now anyone who knows their music or their rock and roll history are aware of the excesses of that lifestyle. A cursory glance around the internet and you can read stories of Shane McGowan of the Pogues, Vince Neil of Motley Crue or Phil Anselmo of Pantera to name but a few and their drug fueled performances. Uh, and in a way we are entertained by their trademark antics. But what are the dark sides of such hedonism? Briefly, what are the effects of alcohol on the body? So firstly, motor impairment, agility, balance, coordination, strength and reaction times will suffer. Cognitive functions, attention, memory and the ability to recognise patterns. All essential tools for the muso that wants a gig and wants to keep it. Good sober musicians, your country needs you. Okay, so let's try and test this out. So first of all, I'm going to play something on my bass, Stone Cold Sober. Let's try and play along to Charlie Parker, Donna Lee. <laughs> Okay, well now I'm going to need to drink something. I'm going to need to get plastered. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to down this bottle of gin. I'm also going to drink these filthy sours. Uh, and because I'm classy, I'm going to have some Baileys as well. So I better get to it. So the question is, can I play that same piece after drinking all of this alcohol? Here we go. Let's find out. What shall we do with the drunk <coughs> sailor early? Oh, get up early. No, I can't. Like and subscribe. Flick that bell. <laughs>